Today's educational game that I play is a fun chemistry quiz about the phosphorus properties. Again, I'm using these quizzes about the elements where I have to choose one of eight properties of the phosphorus. Let me begin with the appearance. There are three things, and now I know now I know that phosphorus phosphorus is a non-metal element. It is a reactive non-metal there in the green and its state at standard temperature and pressure should be a solid state. This is phase or state. Now these two appear to me like metals and like liquids. So I will exclude them and I will choose this waxy white yellow appearance of the phosphorus. Phosphorus. I'm still learning to pronounce them in, in English, so <laughs> it should be a little fun. Let me go to the symbol. Now we have F, PH or P. Now those two are not, so I will choose P and I am revealing in the chemical card it is with a symbol P. The atomic number of phosphorus, <coughs> phosphorus should be 15. Those two are too little to be. Them and this is correct. That will mean there are also 15 electrons. But how they are situated around the core of the atom? Phosphorus is the phosphor. Well, it is uh, situated on the third row of the periodic table, so it should have three shells. Now, this is wrong. Now, I have to see which one of these two is the correct one. And I believe it is the middle one. This is two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and five electron electrons in the third shell. This is the shells are the orbits of the electrons that are orbiting the phosphorus atomic core. Let's see where we can find phosphorus. That middle picture is some necklace, so I don't think there is phosphorus there. This is some painting, ancient painting, but uh, it is no doubt it is in the bones because the main component of bones creation is the phosphorus. And finally, I have to choose the crystal structure, which is the body centered cubic. Okay, also, I got my knowledge level. If I click here, there will be more chemistry games, but this will be the knowledge dosage for today.